Hi, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Hi, I'm gonna show you how to do brakes on this F-250 today. Brakes are like super important because they stop your car and stuff. I'm gonna show you how to get this tire off first because you can't get at them with the tire on it. Come a little closer and we'll see the magic happen. Are we filming? Oh, so like I have to pop this guy off so we can get to the little nugs of lugs. You want to make sure you don't jack your car up first because you won't be able to get your lugs off if you do that. Hey, shut. I found something that'll add leverage. Oh, shut. So, like, yeah, you get the picture. And now we're going to fast forward to the fun part. This is, like, super helpful because I'm not strong enough to pick the truck up by myself. But I've been working out of the gym and maybe next time. Eh, my god, it's so heavy. <laughs> we want to put this guy under there because that thing shouldn't hold it up because it could go fall down and boom, like while I'm under there, and that would be very painful. Like, duh. Oh, shit. And now we can, like, let it down. Oh, and I'm gonna leave it there, just like in case it decides to jump off of there, which would be crazy. <laughs> And it would also be like really totally smart if you chalk the front wheels so that the truck doesn't go like sliding off the blocks while you're underneath it. So like you don't even have to buy any chalks. Probably have some crap laying around your yard like I do. Like, let's use this. Oh my god, it's so heavy. Bye. Bye. Alright then. Okay, so like now, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit with this brake clean, which is really punny of them. It's like brake, it cleans brakes. And then I'm gonna use my 13 millimeter to get the caliper off. And then we're gonna get them pads off. And that like gets all the nasty stuff that builds up off the brakes off. So yeah. Now it looks like I'm a surgeon, <laughs> but I didn't pass the classes, so here we are. So there's a bunch of bolts. Actually, there's not a lot. There's like four. And we need to take this one right here. And there's one on the bottom down there. And we just got to loosen it. Shit, am I tightening it? Yeah. There we go. Oh, shut. There we go. Yeah. yeah. Boom. It's a screw. Two screws. And that's all there is to it. Now we can yank it off. So if you're like not super strong and you can't get it to wiggle off of there, you might want to bang on it a little bit. But be careful, because if you like smash it really hard, you can like, like seriously screw up your calipers and those are like really expensive. And I'm gonna gently beat the crap out of it with this rag. So it like doesn't hurt it, I guess. And so you just gotta wiggle it, sort of like when you're getting into skinny jeans, but like backwards. Like that. Like the longer the thing is, it makes leverage, which is science. And make sure it doesn't fall because calipers, like, are expensive. Okay, so there we go. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta hold this thing up so it doesn't because that'd be bad for the ah, for the brake lines. So, by the way, these brake pads aren't like even that bad. But I went through all this trouble. Anyway, this video is now how to check if your brakes are okay and they're okay. So like, you would take these off if they were bad and you'd throw them away. And we're just gonna put these bashes back on there and keep using them, okay? So yeah, they go in like that, boom. But what we can do, no, not like that, day. But what we can do is we can like lubricate the crap out of these pins because they are hardly moving. And so this thing right here, the slide pin is doing what it's supposed to, sliding. But this one right here, that is not sliding. So I'm gonna try to take that off and lubricate it. While I'm at it, I'm gonna do all of them. Because it might not be fine on the other side. I got this thing. Error. Error. Anyway, take some of this greasy stuff. Since I can't get this thing to come off, I'm going to try to slide the little boot 
off so I can get some grease in there maybe, but first I'm gonna start with the easy one. And just pop it off. That thing would have been stuck in like no time. It's like super not good. Look at that, it's actually shiny. Who knew? It's amazing. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna grease it up. Yeah, so yeah. You smear it on there. It looks like blueberry cream cheese on a bagel. Boop. I'm gonna do my best to like get it in there, but it's not letting me take it off. Okay, so before you can get your caliper back on, you have to like squeeze it in. And a lot of rear brakes are different than the front. Lucky for me, this one, all you have to do is like squeeze it with just a clampy thing. A lot of cars needed to be twisted and pushed, so you need to rent one of these guys with all these little bats and passes, and it'll like push it and turn it and stuff. Kind of like them pill bottles where you have to like push it down and turn it. It's like how it works, but more complicated. There you go. So yeah. And boom. Now we're ready to go. Boom. You don't want to make it like super tight because you could break your bolt off and stuff and that would be really hard. Oh no. I'm just going to make it tight enough that I can't turn it anymore. So I've done as much as my expertise allows and I'm just going to hope and pray that like that grease does its job and I'll check it again in like a couple of couple of weeks or days or however long until I feel like doing it again and we'll go from there so yeah check your brakes guys those friggin heavy ass tire back on <laughs> 